playing in ice. Hey guys, welcome back to A Good Life Farm. Constance here. So the other day I went on a little bit of a road trip. A friend of mine messaged me and said, hey, I'm going to go here. Do you want to come along with me? And I said, I would love to go because I've driven by there a gazillion times and I've never actually stopped to go in. So we got up early in the morning. I headed over, well, I got up early in the morning, headed over to her house, uh, met up with her, and then she drove, and we headed northeast to a little town called South Pittsburgh, and it is just over the border in Tennessee. And like I said, I've driven by there a gazillion times because that is the exact road that I take anytime I'm going towards Chattanooga whether I'm going to East Tennessee or if I'm going to the Homesteaders of America conference. So I have driven by it a million times, it feels like, but I had never stopped. And our destination was the iconic uh, cast iron lodge location. Uh, it is where their factory is, where they make all of their cast iron. Um, it is also, they have an outlet store there and you can actually see it from the highway. Big yellow building. And like I said, I just I just never stopped. So when she asked me if I wanted to come with her, I kind of jumped on the opportunity because I had just never gone there before. And so we walked in and of course there was somebody there who greeted us as we walked in the door. And she asked if it was our first time there. And my friend Linda, she's actually a blogger over at southernkist.com uh, she's like no it's not my first time but it's been a little bit since I've been here and then I said yes it's my first time there and my friend Linda gasped in horror she could not believe that I had never been up there uh, and even said that repeatedly afterwards she's like I just can't believe you've never been here before and so yes it was my first time going they have just about everything that lodge makes available there in their store and so i walked around i just kind of explored and of course i did pick up a few things but what is pretty unique about this is they have an area they call their seconds and because they have their factory right there where they pour the molten iron into the molds and they make all of their pans and griddles and all that stuff there. Occasionally they have ones that when they inspect them they don't quite stand up to um, the standards that they would want to sell. And so those are called the seconds and it means that there's some sort of flaw in uh, the cast iron. And I did actually pick up um, one item from their seconds area which I'll show you in just a minute but while I was there I did I have been wanting to get another enameled cast iron Dutch oven and years ago I had a sage green one and I loved it I had found it at a store somewhere um, I want to say like a home goods or something like that and it had a little bit of an accident and it got dropped and it damaged it and so I just I stopped using it but I loved that sage color Dutch oven and I had looked and looked and looked and I had never seen it anywhere else um, and I just figured well maybe they stopped making it well lo and behold I walk in there and what do I see I saw a sage green Dutch oven and it looks I think a little greener here maybe than it is but it's sage green and I was so excited. So I got my sage green Dutch oven and while I was there I called uh, my son and I asked him if there was anything that he needed from uh, of cast iron and he said he did not have a Dutch oven and so I picked him one up. His is the, it's called Lagoon. It's kind of a almost turquoise but a little more green, kind of like a cross between a turquoise and a forest green. So kind of a deep uh, greenish blue color.
And then as I was walking around, I saw a bin with the perfect cornbread sized skillets. And I thought, you know, these things are super, super cheap. So I'm going to get one for each of my kids. So I actually got three of these um, skillets right here, which is like the exact size that I make my cornbread in all the time. Um, but they were kind of a limited edition seasonal sort of one. And on the bottom, it says Lodge Toberfest. And you can see it's got pretzels and bratwurst and stuff on there. And it's got the year. Now, personally, I thought this was kind of hilarious because uh, one of my sons, my older son, Joshua, when he was in the army and, well, he's in the army and when he was stationed in uh, Germany, he actually went to the Oktoberfest in Munich. And so I thought that was, I thought he'd probably get a kick out of that. But I bought three of these, uh, one for each of my kids. So they'll all for sure at least have a cornbread skillet. And then I picked up um, this skillet here. This is like your classic 10 inch skillet. This is the size I used the most. Uh, and this actually, this one was a seconds as well. And so when I was looking at this one, you know, you look through all of them to see where's the flaw, what is wrong with the skillet. And this one here, there is nothing wrong with the cooking surface. There's nothing wrong with the handles. There was nothing wrong with the bottom of it. And then I found the flaw. So let's see, I'll see if you can see this. Right, right down here, you can see on the edge, right there, there's a little rough patch. And that is the only flaw in this, in this skillet, is that rough patch right there where when it came out of the mold, it wasn't perfectly smooth. And so that little flaw right there, and again, there's nothing wrong with the cooking surface, or anything like that and so that was considered a second and so I actually got this one for my younger son the one that just got married earlier uh, at the beginning of the year because I know they don't have a cast iron skillet and then the other second item that I got uh, this one was for myself and this is actually considered a baking skillet because of these short handles is that's how it was labeled um, and this one, when I was looking it over, trying to find the flaws or flaw in the skillet, it was this right here. So right there, you can see silver. And all that is, is that is where when they seasoned the pan, it didn't get fully coated in the seasoning. Which, when you know how to season a cast iron skillet, that's nothing to take care of. I can do that myself. And by the way, I have an article on my website. I will put a link down below that tells you how to restore uh, cast iron and how to season it. And uh, oh, that right there, that's just, that's just from a sticker. That's not damaged or anything. So that was the one that I got for myself as, in addition to my Dutch oven over there. And then I picked up two other items. I picked up one of these little handy dandy uh, packs of cleaner tools. These are great for scraping uh, food off of just about anything. And then this one, the black one, has the little ridges for cleaning your griddle pans. And then I got this. Now they have like every little trinket you can think of, every little gadget for the kitchen. They actually had um, canning supplies in there as well. But I saw this and I thought this was cute and I thought, you know, I have actually been looking for a soap dish that would allow the water to drain out because I use goat milk soap bars and things like that. and. 
it's like a little old-fashioned claw foot tub and it's got the drain on the bottom so I can put this on the edge of my sink and I can set my soap in there and the water can drain out so that's my little impulse buy of sorts so that's my little haul from the Lodge uh, factory store in South Pittsburgh Tennessee and I keep wanting to call it Pittsburgh for some reason but it's South Pittsburgh Tennessee oh and oddly enough when I went all the way up to South Pix South Pittsburgh Tennessee I ran into one of my YouTube friends there I had someone recognize me someone who lives um, in the town where I go and I get my nails done all the time and she was like I was sure I would run into you somewhere in Coleman and met me up there how funny was that so uh, as I said, I will put a link down below uh, for the factory store if you would like to find out information about it. This is not a sponsored post or anything like that. I just thought I would share this fun little trip with you. And so I will wrap it up for now. I need to go outside and get some chores done. Thanks for hanging out with me here again for a little bit in the homestead kitchen. My name is Constance at A Good Life Farm, and I will talk to you next time.